All right, so just while I've got it working, I'm gonna post a series of videos and I'll clip them together. But I wanted to show y'all, this is the kit. Uh, there's been some reviews online, but no one posted a video. So I wanted to show you in a configured situation and running while I've got good sunlight, good battery charge, what it looks like. So I've got in the kit, it came with the 400 watt solar panels. Um, I've got it. Uh, I bought this kit, so this hanging kit does not come with it. I think that was an extra 130 bucks, but I'd recommend that. I just mounted it to some plywood. I've got the batteries wired up here. Uh, one thing to point out, they do not provide you connectors for the batteries. So I would recommend you buy a little connector kit. All they provide you is this wire. And actually I had to clip some extra wire off of this to be able to connect it, but they don't give you connectors. So I'd recommend buying some little connectors like the little battery clips I've got that did not come with the kit. Also a housing to put the stuff in does not come with the kit. So I bought that in a little solar powered fan, but here's the pump that came with it. Here's the controller that comes with it and that. So I've got all that inside of this ventilated um, kit. And so I wanna show you real quick because I, I they couldn't come with the worst set of instructions. And so, uh, I poked around with this and after a week of support was able to get it working, but only with their help. And none of this comes in the instructions of the kit. So there's kind of what the air pump sounds like running, just so you can see. So let me get a good camera angle in here. So you can see I've got it in 24 volt mode. It does not, it's supposed to auto detect according to them. It does not seem to. And so I wanna show you, so kind of running, I'm getting 27 volts, the panels in full sunlight. It's about 2 p.m. in North Louisiana. Just for reference, middle of July, so this is peak summer, um, bright, bright, hot, sunny day, no clouds right now. So I'm getting 27 volts, eight amps going from the panel into the battery, and the pump is drawing about eight amps. So right now I'm kind of net neutral, if that makes sense. So if I'm charging at eight amps and I'm pulling eight amps, it should continue to run with sun like this. Uh, it is a battery powered system, so obviously, if the sun goes away, this will not run continuously. So I'm gonna show you the settings that it takes to make this work, because by default, mine would not go into these settings and it would not run. So, and there's no way to find these in their manual. They don't tell you how to do this, okay? So this is just experience from support. So you're gonna put it in 24 volt mode. So that's one setting you'll need to change. Mine defaulted to 12. Even though the instructions say a lithium polymer battery is BO2, uh, you have to set it on BO3 according to their support. That makes no sense to me, but again, that's the confusion of the instructions. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going through the settings. I didn't change these. These are kind of whatever default happened. So that was default, default. Uh, C2 day means it's gonna run two hours during the daytime and then turn off for 30 minutes to charge. I didn't change that. PON, I didn't change. This you do have to change. This is SCN by default and you'll get an 04 error where it triggers on high voltage when the pump kicks on. And so you have to change that to make this system work. Otherwise you'll connect it and you'll get this error 04. So those settings should make it work. And right now you're seeing I'm charging the battery because the pump is draining it. But it took me a week back and forth with support. I've got it going. So that's what the system looks like. Also worth noting, so again, what's extra? This stand to mount the solar panels on is extra. This box is not included and it comes with a hundred feet of hose. I've got a half acre pond here. I'm trying to aerate. Uh, and so it's probably 75 feet out to the middle of the pond. And so the hundred feet of hose, you would have to cut in half cause they give you two heads. So for another 50 bucks, I bought another uh, hundred foot of hose. And so let me just kind of show you, there's some videos about this system not working. And it, I mean, you gotta understand the limitations of solar, I think. But once I got it going and it's running at full capacity, that's what the system looks like. So for a solar powered system, granted, it's not going to run at night. Those batteries are probably going to drain in 30 minutes or an hour when the sun goes down. So this is a daytime system only. I think everyone that understands solar acknowledges that. Um, I'm not in a spot where I can run power. Um, so there's kind of my setup. And just to kind of show you what I mean, it's July and I am at full some midday, so I'm at peak solar. And so this is about as good as it gets, but I mean, I'm very, I'm very pleased 
uh, other than the, the, the only feedback I really have and can say is they offer how to connect everything and wire everything. There are no instructions in the kit that explain all of the settings that you need to change or this will not work. The, the manual tells you what the settings are, but they have pieced together five kind of individual components, the solar panel, the controller, the batteries, and to make those work, you have to know the appropriate settings in the controller, which they basically do not tell you anywhere on the Amazon listing, anywhere. There is no instruction manual for how the kit all goes together, if that makes sense. It's like each individual component, the solar panels have instructions, the batteries have instructions, but nothing tells you how to make them all work together. So this is what it looks like. I'm pleased with the final outcome. I was very frustrated. It took me 10 days of back and forth with support to get them to answer the questions I needed to make this work. Uh, but I wanted to show y'all here is what the system looks like. I've got that just for reference in about, uh, the, this one here is probably in two feet of water and that's probably in four or five feet of water back there. I'm about to move them out to the middle of the pond so the pressure and the depth will make the aeration more meaningful, but I wanted to test it in shallow water where I could still access it before I haul it out in the boat. So anyway, that is the, that's the system. Um, and I would, I, I, the only other advice, you can see I've got the batteries mounted underneath my panels in the shade where they're catching the output of the exhaust fan here to kind of keep them cool because uh, I didn't have room in that box to, uh, I didn't have room in that box. I think it's like a 12 by 18 inch box, kind of length by width. So that's probably my only advice is I'd recommend getting a bigger box if you want the batteries to be inside of it. Uh, they're mostly out of the weather, rain and stuff like that. They'll be in shade most of the day, but that's the system. I wanted to post that so y'all could see what the system looks like. Um, and I'm, I'm pleased with the outcome for what it is, but you do have to acknowledge you probably need, I think the system was 900 bucks. If you buy the mounts, extra tubing, a box, you probably have another $500 worth of accessories to really make the system hum. Uh, so I think in, in its standard configuration um, for a reasonable size pond, you probably need some extra hosing. You're going to want to mount those panels. So that's the system and I uh, hope someone appreciates this video.